Alright guys, you're probably wondering where I've been. I've been doing the usual thing, which is forgetting to make videos. <laughs> that classic thing I keep doing with this channel. However, I'm now back again for the 10 millionth time. Those of you who want more consistent content, what I would really suggest you do is to go and subscribe to my other channel, Transcend Your Limits. The reason for that is that I feel like at the moment I'm a lot more passionate about those videos, the travelling sort of personal development, psychology, um, like the more broad aspect of, of me that isn't just the loose dreaming guy. Um, yeah, I'm more passionate about those types of videos, so if you want more consistent videos, then normally every day or two, uh, go and check out Transcend Your Limits. However, I wanted to say that I have a lot of ideas for content for this channel. I have so many ideas, in fact, that it's really surprising that I don't make more videos because I really, I literally have hundreds and hundreds of emails from you guys, like complicated questions that I feel like I could answer, you know, interactions between certain techniques and certain habits or certain things you can do in your life that you guys need answers to. And I'm going to get to them, I promise. I really am going to get to them. I've just been doing a lot of things. I've been traveling. I just came back from Iceland. I've got a few really cool ideas for like first person view lucid dreaming videos where I show you because I figured I could travel quite a lot and in my travel clips if I attached a GoPro to my head I could get a really good like interpret a really good interpretation of what a lucid dream feels like say if I'm in a really nice mountain scenery or something I can put the GoPro on my head and show you guys like feel like first person view what a lucid dream might be like and I can explain various techniques and superpowers and things and like interactions with the dream scene from a first person perspective. So lots of really cool stuff is coming. I've got ideas for the podcast as well. I feel like the podcast is like an undiscovered land for us, you know, at the moment. I could do a lot with the podcast. I feel like I could get a decent microphone. I mean, the camera's here. The camera here is all, all right in terms of audio quality, but I think I could improve that and, and make a podcast as well. I've already made a couple of episodes, in fact. I don't know if you know this, but I have a SoundCloud account. I think my podcast is also streamed to iTunes as well. You just type in howtolucid.com to wherever you listen to podcasts. You know, it might be iTunes, it might be Spotify or something. And I should be there now. You know, this is happening. That's already happened. So there's a lot of ideas I have. What I will say is I'm very slack in terms of posting to social media. I don't really go on social media much these days. So if you've been replying to me, like if you've been messaging me on Instagram, on Facebook, on Twitter, I, I rarely check these platforms, if ever. You know, I might post something, say if I'm doing a good promotion or something I don't want you guys to miss out on, or if I've got an important update, I might then update my profiles on Instagram, particularly on Instagram stories. But in terms of creating content for them, I, I tend to focus on blog posts on the site and YouTube videos. I feel like they're much more useful because they're evergreen. You know, if you search for something on Google or YouTube or any search engine, my stuff should come up for you. And I feel like that's more of a long-term value than just one tweet on Twitter or one Instagram story post or even just an Instagram photo because these things get buried in the algorithms of these search engines, uh, these social media engines, I should say. So I focus on evergreen stuff on the main platforms, which is Google, so blog content, and YouTube. Now, I probably should post more on social media and maybe I will in the future, but in terms of like, I don't want to dilute myself too much. I feel like if I posted to these platforms every day, all day, I'd get bored of it. So that's why I focus on blog posts. I've been going back through my old website posts on howtolucid.com and massively improving them. Like I'm talking adding thousands of words to the posts, making them much more in depth, in detail, giving you better links, better information, references. It's not on all of the posts, so some of them are still basic. I mean, I've I've had this site for years, you know, I've been updating it over the years. Some posts are better than others. Uh, I know it's it's annoying, when, especially when you subscribe to a YouTuber and they don't post any content, or, you know, they, they go away or they stop producing content. Um, be, please be patient with me. I, I have got a lot of things coming for this channel. Um, I tend to just sort of put it off because I'm doing something else, uh, which I know I shouldn't, but that's just, how, that's just how things work at the moment. That's just... I've got a big to-do list and there's lots of things that I need to give my attention to. I have got um, a few interesting videos coming up reviewing machines and like technology products um, related to lucid dreaming and sleep in general. So there'll be a lot more sleep tech reviews, um, but not all the time. I don't want to just flood you guys with with reviews. Um, but when I make a review video, I try and do it in, in a way that's not just an advert. I'm never paid for any of these videos and I try and do it in a way that's like, 
we're discovering the product together. You know, we're unboxing it, I'm explaining what it is, I'm asking myself questions almost and saying like, oh, I wonder if it can do this. And, then, and we're discovering what the product can do. And then I give my honest opinion about whether it works. And I almost always try and do a long-term review of the thing as well. So yeah, I, I feel like that would be a useful thing for you guys to see. I don't know, let me know what you think in the comments. But particularly with like sleep tech and supplements, I want to do long-term reviews, like at least a month of me using the thing. One that I'm reviewing at the moment is a supplement called Mind Lab Pro, which I'll leave, a I'll leave a link in the description to the blog post I wrote and also the link for the product if you want to buy it. Um, but that's a really interesting one and I've, I've been getting some really, really good results with that supplement. Um, probably more so than any other nootropic I've, I've ever tried, which is a big thing to say because I've tried a lot of them. Um, so yeah, that's the plans for, the, for this channel. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to title this video, I'll think of something catchy. But So I will be back very soon, I'm not sure exactly when, with a new lucid dreaming video explaining a technique or it'll be like a review. But certainly in the next couple of weeks you can expect a few videos. So click the notification bell, make sure you're subscribed and leave a comment letting me know what you want to see on this channel going forward. Done. Thanks for watching guys. This video and this channel are supported by my Patreon followers. Please consider giving just a dollar a month to support this channel or just click the links in the description and you'll find links to various Lucid Dream products, articles, techniques and tutorials. If you did enjoy this video please click the notification bell and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Why are you still watching this? You should have clicked one of my related videos by now, right? Or subscribed or gone onto my website or something like that.